In this video, I'm going to teach you how to become Microsoft 365 Enterprise Administrator Expert. To do that, I will help you answer three questions. First, what does it mean to have such certification? Which helps you decide if this is the right certification for you or not? Second, what exams you need to pass? Because there are dozens of exams and it can be confusing at first. And most importantly, which certification path you should take to achieve this certification. Because keep in mind there are different certification paths and I'm going to help you find the best path that matches your skill set. So let's get started. Before we start though, I want to give you a quick overview about the new Microsoft certification program as it took me a while until I figured it out. So I want to save you time and effort by telling you all about it in like 5 minutes. If you want to take one of Microsoft certifications and you are wondering which one to take, you could look at this situation from two different perspectives or views. What is your role and how many years of experience you have managing Microsoft 365 services? So let's start by figuring out your role. Are you a security engineer who wants to protect Microsoft 365 services? Is your job is to deploy Windows in your organization or perhaps you are responsible of the productivity and teamwork in your organization? Just answer this simple question and then move to the next dimension, which is how many years of experience you have. Are you new to Microsoft 365? Do you have one or two years of experience? Or are you an expert in Microsoft 365 and you have more than two years of experience, like, like five years of experience? Write down your answers and please try to be clear and honest with yourself as this will help you decide which path you should go through at the end of this video. Just to be clear, when we talk about role-based certifications, we are talking about Microsoft 365 certifications, not Azure certifications, for example. Now, to help you decide which Microsoft 365 job roles are available in Microsoft certification program, this slide lists them all. There is the administrator role, which is a security role. I know why the name is not a security administrator. So if you are managing security in Microsoft 365, this would be your role in Microsoft certification program. Now inside this administrator role, you can focus on getting the Microsoft Security Administrator Associate badge. And we will talk later about badge and what badges mean. If you are an exchange guy, then the messaging administrator role fits your persona as you can focus on getting the Microsoft 365 messaging administrator badge. If your role fits the Modern Desktop Administrator role, you can focus on getting the Microsoft 365 Modern Desktop Administrator Associate badge. Now, if your job fits the Teamwork Administrator, you know, SharePoint, Microsoft Teams, OneDrive, in this case, you can focus on getting the Microsoft 365 Teamwork Administrator Associate badge. And finally, if you are a senior technical person with more than two years of experience managing and deploying Microsoft 365 and you are managing an enterprise level services, then you fit the enterprise administrator role. And this is why you might want to get the Microsoft 365 enterprise administrator expert badge, which this video is all about. Also notice that we have four associate badges and one expert badge in the Microsoft 365 certification program. Now, don't think about badges as exams or tests. So there is no exam called Teamwork Administrator Associate or Enterprise Administrator Expert. In fact, when you pass one or more exams in a certification track, Microsoft thanks you for your time and effort passing these exams and as a reward for proving your skill set in mastering a specific role, Microsoft issues a badge for you, which you can then share anywhere in your social media or LinkedIn and other people would know what you went through to get this badge, which again authenticates your skill set in a specific technology and a specific role. After mapping your job role to one of the job roles inside the Microsoft 365 certification roles, now you need to ask yourself how many years of experience you have in that role. And Microsoft 365 program gives you three levels of expertise. If you are new to Microsoft 365, then you can go after the fundamental certifications. If you have two years of comprehensive working experience in a specific role, then you can focus on getting the associate badge for that role like the Teamwork Administrator Associate Badge. But if you have two to five years of deep technical experience in Microsoft 365, then you should or could focus on getting the Expert Level Badge. 
You can also see the number of stars in each badge. So the fundamental badge has one star while the expert badge has three. And by now you know your role and the years of experience which can help you decide what you want to achieve here. If your job is to deploy, configure, secure and manage devices and client applications in an enterprise environment, then you fill the certification role of modern desktop administrator. Next, look at your experience level. If you have one to two years of experience doing so, then your badge level should be associate. Together, this means you should get the Microsoft 365 Modern Desktop Associate Badge. And this badge reflects both your years of experience and your job role, as you can see here. It tells people that you are specialized in deploying Windows and you've proven to have skills that maps to one or two years of experience. From the other side, if your job is to deploy, configure, manage, and monitor messaging infrastructure and mail flow in both on-premises, hybrid, and cloud enterprise environments, then your badge role will be messaging administrator. And if you have one to two years of experience, then your badge level would be associate. Then your badge name according to both your role and years of experience is Microsoft 365 Messaging Administrator Associate. But if you have more than two years of experience and you are responsible of migrating, deploying, and managing Microsoft 365 in an enterprise, then perhaps after taking the Messaging Administrator Associate badge, you should also try to get the Microsoft 365 Enterprise Administrator badge, which this video is all about. Still confused about whether this Enterprise Administrator Expert badge is for you or not? So if your job role is an enterprise administrator in Microsoft 365 technology and you have enough experience doing so, then Microsoft 365 Enterprise Administrator Expert Badge is definitely for you to fight for. So how other people look at you after you take this badge? Well, this expert level badge tells other people that your work as a Microsoft 365 Enterprise Administrator is to evaluate, plan, migrate, deploy, and manage Microsoft 365 services, and that you've proven to have the following skill set. First, design and implement Microsoft 365 services. You also know how to manage user identities and roles, manage access and authentication, plan Office 365 workloads and applications, implement modern device services, implement Microsoft 365 security and threat management, and finally manage Microsoft 365 governance and compliance. Now that you know this expert level badge is something you want to get or not, let me help you understand how can you get it and which path most likely fits your skill profile. To get the Microsoft 365 Enterprise Administrator expert badge, you should first pass two exams. The MS100 exam, which is Microsoft 365 Identity and Security, plus MS101, which is Microsoft 365 Mobility and Security. In addition, you should have one of these five prerequisites depending on your job role. The first one is to have the Modern Desktop Administrator Associate Badge, which is a recommended path if your role is to deploy, configure, secure, manage and monitor devices and client applications in an enterprise environment. And to get this badge, you should pass two exams. Two exams, not one of them. MD100, which is Windows 10 exam, and MD101, Managing Modern Desktops exam. After passing those two exams, you get your Modern Desktop Administrator Associate badge. After that, don't forget that you need to pass both MS100 and MS101 exams. And this qualifies you to get the Microsoft 365 Enterprise Administrator Expert Badge. Or if your role is to configure, deploy, and manage Office 365 workloads that focus on efficient and effective collaborations such as SharePoint, online and on-premises and hybrid, OneDrive, and Microsoft Teams, then you can start by getting your Teamwork Administrator Associate Badge, which you can get in two ways. Either you pass two exams, both of them, exam MS300, deploying Microsoft 365 Teamwork, and exam MS301, deploying SharePoint Server Hybrid, or you pass the MS302 transition exam called Microsoft 365 Teamwork Administrator Certification Transition Exam. After getting your Teamwork Administrator Associate Badge, remember that you need also to pass both the MS100 and MS101 to get your Expert Badge. 
Now, if your role is to secure Microsoft 365 enterprise and hybrid environment, implement and manage security and compliance solution, responding to threats and enforcing data governance, then you can start by getting your security administrator associate badge, which you can simply get by passing only one exam, MS500 Microsoft 365 security administration exam. If your role though is to deploy, configure, manage and monitor messaging infrastructure, permissions, client access, mail protection, and mail flow in both on-premises, hybrid, and cloud enterprise environment, then you should start by getting the Messaging Administrator Associate Badge, which you can get also in two ways. Either you pass both the MS200 Planning and Configuring a Messaging Platform exam and the MS201 Implementing a Hybrid and Secure Messaging Platform exam, or you pass the transition exam MS202 Microsoft 365 Messaging Administrator Certification Transition exam. Now, here is a bonus for you. If you have the MCSE Productivity Solutions Expert Badge, then you don't need to get any of the previous four associate badges. You only need to pass both the MS100 and MS101 exams shown here in this slide to get your Microsoft 365 Enterprise Administrator Expert Badge. Because having the MCSE Productivity Solutions Expert Badge is like that you've proven you have enough skills that you only need to pass the MS100 and MS101 exams to be qualified for the Expert Badge. In summary, you need one Microsoft 365 Associate Badge or to hold the MCSE Productivity Solutions Expert Badge. Then you pass the MS100 Microsoft 365 Identity and Services Exam and the MS101 Microsoft 365 Mobility and Security Exam to get your Microsoft 365 Enterprise Administrator Expert Badge. So one Associate or being an MCSE in Productivity and you need to elevate your skills by knowing identity service and mobility services in Microsoft 365 because this is what you need to be an enterprise admin that deploy and evaluate and migrate services to get your expert badge. Now the four associate badges are listed here and they give you role based route that match your specific skill set through your journey to Microsoft 365 enterprise admin expert badge. The Modern Desktop Admin Associate Badge requires passing two exams. The Teamwork Administrator Associate Badge requires passing two exams or one transition exam. The Security Administrator Associate Badge requires passing only one exam. And the Messaging Administrator Associate Badge requires passing two exams or one transition exam. Now the shortest path to get the Microsoft 365 Enterprise Admin Expert Badge, if you ask me, would be going after the Security Administrator Associate Badge, as it requires passing only one exam, but also it's not an easy exam to pass. Or if you are lucky enough and you already have the MCSE Productivity Solution Expert Badge, then go after the MS100 and MS101 exams and take both of them to get your final Expert Badge. Now here is a nice different view to look at all these certifications from the certification level or years of experience point of view. Microsoft certifications are classified to three levels depending on your years of experience. The fundamental certifications, the associate certifications, and the expert certifications. This video is helping you to get the only expert level certification in Microsoft 365, which is the Microsoft 365 Enterprise Administrator Expert. It is like having an MCSE level certification and requires at least passing three exams or holding a previous MCSE Productivity Solution Expert certification and passing two other exams. Now the associate badges related to Microsoft 365 are a good starting point for you. And you have four different associate badges to choose from depending on your job role. You need only one of these badges to move forward towards getting your expert badge, so choose yours now. And finally, if you are new to Microsoft 365 Word, then you can start by getting the fundamental badge in Microsoft 365. And there is one exam for this badge, it's the MS 900 Microsoft 365 Certification Fundamentals exam. Keep in mind that this exam is not a prerequisite for any other exams. 
which means that you don't need to take this exam at all to get any associate or expert badges in Microsoft 365. Now, during this journey, you will get badges in this order. If your experience is with SharePoint and Microsoft Teams, and assuming you don't want to go with the transition exam, then you will start by taking both the MS301 and MS300 exams. After completing both exams, you will get the Teamwork Administrator Associate badge. After that, you need to pass both the MS100 and MS101. So after passing four exams in total, you get your Microsoft 365 Enterprise Administrator Expert Patch. I hope this clears the picture for you when considering getting your Microsoft 365 Enterprise Administrator Expert Patch. I want to wish you good luck in your journey. Here is some references to help you get started in your certification journey. I will also make this presentation available on SlideShare, so feel free to check it out there. And finally, do you still think that this badge, the Microsoft 365 Certified Enterprise Administrator Expert, is the right badge to go after? And if this is the case, do you know better now which certification path to take? I would appreciate if you share your thoughts in the comments below, and if you like this video, please hit like. Thanks for your time and good luck on your certification journey.